What is going on everyone? Pony Lover 1989 here and welcome to another reaction episode. This will be my last video as I'll have to wait for 24 more hours to upload more. Anyway, do you guys remember my first re my reaction to the first nostalgia critic episode that involved the Transformers movie? Well, it has reached 49 views. And one like, 100%. I hope it's getting close to 50 views real soon. And now I am going to be reacting to the second episode. And this involves Cartoon All-Stars to the Rescue. I'm pretty sure you guys remembered watching this on VHS about the dangers of drugs and whatever. So anyway, here we go. In three, two, one. And here we go. 21 years. 32. Oh, this is a, that's an ad for, the ad for Walmart. Oh. Sorry about that. Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it so you don't have to. You know, I was walking down the aisles of the video store the other day and I noticed something I haven't seen in years. Cartoon All-Stars to the Rescue. Immediately a pool of disappointing memories came flooding back to me and I just knew I had to see this piece of shit again. Now for those of you who don't remember this special, I'll give you the skinny. In the early 90s, ABC said they were going to do a half-hour special featuring kids' favorite cartoons. You name it. DuckTales, Duck Chipmunks, Looney Tunes, Ninja Elvin Turtles, the works. Tunes, when you're a kid, Ninja this Turtles. is the equivalent of like Elvis meets the Beatles. I mean, the world could just explode right there. So for weeks, we've been waiting in anticipation, and finally the big day came. It was Saturday morning. All the kids are up, and we're hyped as hell. And who do they get to start off this groundbreaking event? None other than the goddamn President <laughs> of the United States himself. The president and Oh my god, George Bush is first, starting this thing the off. The First Lady? Oh my god. George Bush is starting this thing off. George Bush? He goes on <laughs> and on about how listening to your parents is important and about how to maintain the American family. But when your kid hyped up as hell, all you can hear is Blah, 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 I'm an old person. Blah, blah, yes. blah, I'm keeping you from your cartoons. Blah, blah, blah. So after he's done blabbing, the show finally begins. And it's just like the commercials say. Everybody's there. The Smurfs, Ghostbusters, Garfield, Blimer, Alf, Garfield, Alf. For some reason, I don't know, maybe he snuck in the back, I don't know. But bottom line, everybody's there. It's unbelievable. Even it's a dream come true. Kermit. So now that all our favorite cartoon characters are together in one spot, what are they gonna talk about? Marijuana. <gasps> Marijuana? Scoozy? Marijuana. Scoozy? <laughs> Did... Did Simon the Chipmunks just say marijuana? What? What possess Simon the Chipmunks to say marijuana? No, 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 no. This, this has got to be some kind of mistake. It, it can't be the same marijuana we're thinking of. An unlawful substance used to experience artificial highs. Oh, my God. Oh, what? MG. Why is Simon the Chimmons talking about marijuana? What? What kind of slap in the face is that? I mean, Simon shouldn't know what marijuana is. <laughs> Simon is one of the embodiments of childhood. He's from out in the Chimmons for crying out loud. Jesus, I feel so dirty! Simon the Chimmons <laughs> just said marijuana! Is there any other American icon that can smash the foundations of my childhood any quicker? What's this? Bugs Bunny? A joint? Why does Bugs Bunny know what a joint is? Bugs Bunny shouldn't know what a joint is! If Bugs Bunny knows what a joint is, that means he knows what drugs are! If Bugs Bunny knows what drugs are, that means the rest of the Looney Tunes know what drugs are! And if the rest of the Looney Tunes know what drugs are, well that just explain your goddamn much! <laughs> <sighs> So, if you haven't put it together yet, all our favorite cartoon characters that we grew up with are coming together to talk to us about drugs. Of course. This Just like what the VHS hour. says. So it turns out the special's not even about the cartoon characters. It's about a little twerp named Michael who has a stinking drug problem. He sinks to a new low when he steals his sister Corey's piggy bank. He uses it to get more drugs, which he hides in a box that he keeps under his bed. And what exactly does he keep in that box? A silly putty egg, four turds, and two cinnamon buns glued together. Because hey, he was high, and he thought it was a good idea at the time. Corey thinks about telling her father, but he's too busy being an alcoholic, and gay, and the brawny man. 
<laughs> to make matters worse, Michael is followed around by this obnoxious puff of smoke voiced by George C. Scott. George C. Scott? He needed me. All his cares went... <laughs> okay, that was lame, but I like his next speech a whole lot better. This individuality stuff is a bunch of crap. The bilious bastards who wrote that stuff about individuality don't know anything more about real battle than they do about fornicating. Now that's a puff of smoke I can follow. Was it? But tell Bizarre. me, where did this slippery Wasn't scope George of marijuana C. abuse Scott begin? The voice of well, the, luckily, Bugs Bunny has a time machine that's able to show us. <laughs> I borrowed it from some coyote. <laughs> Wiley Coyote? We find out that Michael just wanted to fit in, and that's why he started smoking marijuana in the first place. And once you listen to how he talks, can you really blame him? You guys cruising for lung cancer or what? Somebody give that kid a joint. After that, we get some more narc speeches from the Ninja Turtles, DuckTales, and the Muppet Angelo. Babies. Because when I think drug abuse, and Piggy. I think Muppet Babies. Now, after some long-winded speeches, the characters get together and they do the most logical thing they can think of. Tigger. They have an intervention Yip-hoo. with an Alan Macon song. If you survived your suicide attempt, the special ends pretty much as you would imagine it. Michael gets off the drugs, he makes up with his sister, the puff of smoke disappears, and his attentive parents are none the wiser. So, what kind of message are kids supposed to get from this special? That they smoke weed, all their favorite cartoon characters will appear? Yeah, that's a top-notch moral right there. Is he kidding? And if you don't get off the drugs, these suckers get violent. In fact, I was shocked at how cruel some of these cartoon characters really are. I mean, look at this. They lock people in burning buildings, run them over with a roller coaster, blow them up, drown them. Even Wayne the Pooh gets his ass handed to him. Jesus, these suckers are mean. Another problem I have with this special is that everybody cries at the drop of a hat. Watch. You see? So, okay, what exactly are these cartoon characters trying to tell us? There's nothing cool about a fool on drugs. Eh, fair enough, I guess. So the next time that you watch up, Doc, is your life, if you don't cut it out. Okay. You're excellent just the way you are. Got it. We don't always see things the way they are. Okay, yeah. Just believe in yourself. Well, we care about you. Well, maybe. Everyone's got problems, kid. Yeah. Why don't you just say no? Got it. You gotta believe in yourself. Will you shut up? Yeah. Yeah, I heard you. You use, you lose. Okay, God. You know, I thought this would be really cool, but you know what? This really blows. All my cartoon characters are fucking narcs. I mean, for crying out loud, how many times do you have to hammer this shit in? If everyone was jumping off a cliff, would you go too? Maybe after seeing this shit. I mean, for crying out loud, do you know what the irony is? I think that most of these cartoon characters were on drugs long before this special ever came out. I mean, look at it. Garfield's always hungry, Pooh's happy as hell, Daffy's hyped up on speed, and Michelangelo... Well, listen to him. Your brain must be, like, really messed up. I even think our beloved president smoked a doobie before he came out. I mean, look at him. He's looking at Barbara's head like it's a giant cheeseburger. Cheeseburger? <sighs> Maybe I'm being too harsh on this special. After all, they are trying to get across a very moral lesson. Drugs aren't your pal, pal. They're your enemy. A very sound point. Any objections? I make him feel good. He's got me there. <laughs> So with, with you. Marijuana. <laughs> Bug spray works best when your family actually wears it. Oh. Get odor free. A- An oaf. Odor free. Sevo. I don't know the name of the type of deodorant I use. Well, anyway, that was cra- That was crazy. That was. That was. That was totally nuts. And I cannot wait to react to the... I cannot wait to react to the third episode where he reviews the Power Rangers movie. Anyway, that was my reaction to the Nostalgia Critic reviews Cartoon All-Stars to the Rescue. I hope you enjoy it. If you like my reaction, click a thumbs up. And if you like me to react to more episodes like this, comment down below. Don't forget to notify and subscribe. And another moral before I had to end this video. Do not do drugs. It's very bad for you.
and you could get arrested for it. Just remember to say no. Okay, after the 24-hour wait, and probably the next day on Friday, I'll react to a few more episodes of Sherlock Yak. Episodes 17, 18, 19, and 20, and another Spongebob crossover story called Five Nights at Freddy's and Godzilla Attacks Bikini Bottom. They're both by Jason Shireen. And probably the next reaction is Kitchen Gun. It's not what what it's what somebody commented me in the in the notifications. It's supposed to be funny but not violent. And I'll probably react to a few YouTube poop movies based on the recently released CGI Mario movie. And another green eggs and ham YouTube poop, red eggs with a side of ham for dessert. And episodes 1, 2, and 3 of Angry Southern Sonic. It's supposed to be a parody of Sonic the Hedgehog, but with like an angry southern accent or something. Well, anyway, this is Lover 1989 signing off. And I'll see you all in the next video. Remember to stay safe. Keep believing. Keep believing in God. God bless you. God bless you all. Do not, do not get, also do not get COVID and stay six feet apart and get vaccinated at the pharmacy at Walmart. It's free. And do not, do not drink and drive as what it says in, from Anime Vines. And, and once again, do not do drugs. Just say no. Until next time, that's all, folks.